Okay, so uh, Stukov is going to be a StarCraft support, a Zerg support. And his trait is... Well, let's read his healing pathogen first. <clears throat> so you infest the allied hero with the pathogen, it heals them over time, and it can spread to nearby allied heroes. A single healing pathogen can spread to each allied hero one time. What is a pustule? A pustule is like a, like a boil that explodes with uh, juice. Did they say investing? <laughs> okay. Uh, nice proofreading. But... Yeah, bodily fluids, juice, whatever. Can can cast on self and spread to self. Cannot spread to targets to whom it has already spread. Right. Hurl a pustule that impacts all enemy heroes in its path, dealing 20 damage and slowing. Increasing to a slow. Oh, cool. So we have decaying slows, but we don't have increasing slows yet, as far as I know. That's pretty cool. The opposite of decaying. What's the opposite of decaying? Ah. Growing. Growing. Deals an additional 80 damage upon expiring or being removed. Lurking arm. Channel at a target location, creating an area that silences enemies inside and deals damage per second to them. Deals 50% damage 50 damage to non-heroes. Hey, you could just leave out reduced and it would still... I mean, 50% reduced or 50% no difference, right? 50% damage to non-heroes, including structures then. Does not cost mana while channeling. Lasts until cancelled or interrupted. It's pretty good. It is a self stun, self root, of course. Self silence. Massive shove. We saw this one in the trailer video. Push someone all the way back until they impact on terrain. And if it is a straight path to their core, it goes all the way to the core. Keep in mind, you can use something like Entomb or Force Wall to stop your ally from moving away. A lot of cool interactions there. Zombie Wall would also be able to be used to uh, stop your ally. He gains armor while shoving, but it is a channel, so he can be interrupted before the, your ally reaches terrain. Flailing Swipe. Three swipes in front. So when I read this, before I saw the trailer video, I thought it was going to be like this. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex swipe. Swipe at a fly swipe. And then max distance arm swipe. But I was completely wrong. It's huge. It's giant. It's like, grrr, like a lion. And then like a machine. And then like a freaking gust of wind. Huge swipes. And you push them all the way away. Nice self peel and peel for the team. Now we saw this in the trailer and here are the talents coming out. Spine launcher. Basic attacks become ranged. Therefore uh, saying that normally it's melee. Ranged and slow enemies by 20% for a second. But they deal half damage. Hit heroes with weighted pustule is a quest. So that's your W damage slow. Reward after hitting 20 heroes reduce the CD of weighted pustule. So more slows, more damages. Fetid touch. What is fetid? Smelling un extremely unpleasant. <laughs> that would be a funny name. Smelling an extremely unpleasant touch. <laughs> Have you ever been touched by something... Extremely unpleasantly smelling. Uh, after, so <clears throat> after hitting 40 heroes with your W, uh, reduce the cooldown of weighted pustule. Watch the formatting there. Quest is fetid touch. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. After hitting 40 heroes, reduce the cooldown. Oh, this is for the second talent. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm going to read it. Oh, there you go. All right. Okay, so you either become ranged and slow, but deal less damage. Fetid touch. 
hit heroes with weighted pustule. After you hit 20, reduce the cooldown. Why would they format that way? Your chance to not forget trade now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> His trade. Activate all the viruses. Each healing pathogen burst heals. And weighted pustule will deal damage and slow for 70%. Cool. Alright, come on guys, stop distracting and making fun of me. I have to focus here. Vertical middle alignment and tables. Yeah. Totally, man. As one XL Pro to another XL Pro Vipple, I completely agree with that uh, comment. Oh, yeah, no visible borders. Oh, oh. Terrible, as uh, XL Pro, I squirm. <clears throat> After hitting 20 heroes, reduce the cooldown of weighted pustule by two and a half second. After hitting 40 heroes, reduce the cooldown of weighted pustule by an additional two and a half seconds. And remove its mana. Upvote comment. What is yeah, okay. Later. He could still make a massive mistake, Silas. <laughs> what if... Well, then I can always do this, right? Anyway, uh, after hitting 40 heroes, reduce the cooldown of weighted pustule by an additional. <laughs> this is, see, this is why I ignore chat during these things. Uh, the third level one growing infestation. Lurking arms area expands by 50% over two and a half seconds. Cool. But since E is an infinitely channeling one. Which two and a half seconds is it? Is it the beginning of it? The end of it? But if it's the end of it, it would need to know when the end is. So the game would need to know two and a half seconds before you get interrupted or you cancel that you were going to interrupt it. So it would have to go back in time and then have the two and a half second at the end be longer. So that doesn't really make sense. So it's probably either at the beginning of it or after an intermittent, after a certain period of time. I'm, I'm going to assume that the first two and a half second is bigger and then it gets smaller. Hmm. Trade popping pustules. By the way, wash your hands after doing that because it could spread. Detonate 10 weighted pustules without dying. Detonating a weighted pustule. Wait, weighted? Oh, that's what it's called. Now applies its damage and slow in an area. Wow. Oh, over two and a half seconds. I thought it would be over after two and a half seconds. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> the thing is though, okay, I get it. So it expands, right? Like, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be over. Isn't it nice that I can help you guys understand <laughs> these things better? It's like, let's say if you open the tap and there's like a puddle of water and it expands over time. I thought it was going to be over and then be, be like not wet anymore. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't help it that English is confusing. It's my second language. Let's go to level four because uh, we're not getting anywhere yet, but I need some water first. One good spread. After a healing pathogen infests four targets, restore 30 mana and reduce the cooldown of healing pathogen by two seconds. Healing top off. Healing pathogens healing over time on its initial target is increased by 50% while they are above 60% health. Hmm. A little bit reminiscent of the opposite of Earth Living Enchant. Which is an under 50% bonus healing over time. So they're pretty healthy and then you give them a heal and that is more healing over time. Hmm. 
it's quite strong i think it's quite strong healing pathogen grants 50 physical armor to its initial target while active on them mm. infinity block charge on the initial target for four and a half seconds it's quite strong in the right situation vigorous reuptake Detonate 50 healing pathogens with bio kill switch. That seems like a pretty rough quest. You get up to five targets per queue, but usually not five. Two should be the bare minimum. So let's say you get two and a half on average per cast. So you would need 20 queues. We don't know the cooldown, but I'm gonna assume it's something like eight seconds. Maybe 12, max. no, eight to 10 seconds. You, you need to detonate it. If you don't detonate them, you don't get the burst heal, right? Like if you let this run out. I don't think there's anything that indicates that you get the burst heal without detonating it. And also when you detonate it, you lose this armor. Because it's not active anymore. Death set QCD is very low. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe 50 is not too difficult. And then the reward is increased bio kill switch healing. 50%? That's a lot. Reduce the cooldown. Four targets. That's hard. So just, I think this one might be the best. Like, this is crazy. Seems way too strong for now. Uh, but that's just initial opinion. Level 7. Increase the range of weighted posture by 100%. That's a nice chase tool. You slow them and damage them from much, much further. I'm just gonna lower the music a bit. Heroes is getting super epic. Increase the range of lurking arm by 50%. That's good too. Each time an enemy hero is hit by lurking arm, reduce its cooldown by half a second. Up to six and a half seconds and restore mana. Five mana per enemy hero hit. Each time a hero is hit. How often does it pulse? Up to six and a half. Hmm. Every second, once per second. Hmm. Two procs per hero is believable. Then they'll try to walk out of it. The initial proc because it surprises them and one more as they try to get out, maybe. Let's say you hit two heroes. Get two seconds off. Restore 20 mana. Seems pretty okay. Detonating exactly one weighted pustule, but any number of healing pathogens with bio kill switch reduces the cooldown of bio kill switch to five seconds. Two five seconds, I say. Lurking arm doesn't cost mana. I thought that they said that the initial part cost mana. They said it cost mana right as you cast it and then no longer cost mana after that. This one, we read about it already. 13. When taking damage below 50% health, instantly spread a weighted pustule to all nearby enemy heroes and reset the cooldown of bio kill switch. This event has this effect has a 10 second cooldown. That seems really good. Reactive ballista spores. They reset your your D cooldown, so you get two burst heals and two 70% two second slows on everyone and damage. That is crazy, I think.
Lurking arm deals 150% more damage to enemy heroes below 25% health. 150% more damage to enemy heroes below 25% health. And how much did it do? 144 per second. That's pretty darn strong. Great finisher. But I think maybe you'll still take this one. Lurking arm... Like, this even heals yourself. You can heal yourself when you're at 30%. You take damage, you disactivate, and then... I, I just don't know what what is nearby considered, how nearby. That will be very key. Uh, lurking arm persists for one and a half seconds after it's cancelled. Oh! Just in case you keep getting cancelled out of it, that can be quite nice. Interesting. Detonating a weighted pustule on an enemy who is inside of lurking arm roots them for two seconds. Oh yes, because you can use your trait during the channel of lurking arm. Two second root. That's a pretty long route. This is fairly conditional, but that is a two second route. It can be quite valuable. He seems to have a lot of peel. Like... Hmm. Morales gets one grenade, and he has two different kinds of peel heroics. Slow on the whole enemy team many times, and he can root. If we don't worry too much about whether he's going to be OP or not, and just we think about... Oh yeah, and he has a silence. He has a silence, a root, a pushback. Heal and slow. But where is his stun? Maybe level 16. Well, uh, let's not talk about whether he's OP or not. <laughs> I just want to en enjoy Christmas but without wondering whether Santa Claus is God. <laughs> like, how does he get through the chimney? I don't know. Well, let's just get some presents and enjoy the, the atmosphere. Where is this protected and stunned? Maybe 16. <laughs> uh, let's see. Bio kill switch no longer removes healing pathogen and instead... Refreshes its duration. Wow. So you still get the burst heal, but it also increases the duration. Healing pathogen can continually spread through Stukov, but its healing is reduced by 60. There's a downside. Continually spread. Pa 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 pa. Continually? Hmm. But 60%. Increase the final damage of weighted pustule by 50%. Additionally, detonating weighted pustule with bio kill switch blinds. It is a blind too! It's like they took the whole CC list and they put it all over him. <laughs> wow. Morales who? Whenever an ally with healing pathogen is stunned... Uh oh! Triggered! Oh no, he doesn't stun them. Whenever an ally with healing pathogen is stunned, they are instantly healed for 250 health. Heroic upgrade 1. Uh, flailing swipes mana cost is reduced from 100 to 50 and it gains 2 additional charges, but each use only swings 1 time at max range. Okay. Hmm. 
I don't know if we don't get that. I don't know if we get that. Massive shove travels 25% faster. If massive shove pushes a target for more than one and a half seconds, its cooldown is reduced by 15 seconds. That seems strong. Bio kill switch now also detonates lurking arm, playing a weighted pass shield to enemy heroes inside and inside. <laughs> okay, we saw this one in the trailer. Uh, that's strong. No. They just hooked each other like three times. Oh, nice combo. Deny. No, they comboed. Oh, we comboed. <gasps> it's so close. Play it safe, play it safe. Kill him! Yeah! Yeah, kill him! 